State Republicans just announced new legislative proposals to limit voter access. The seven bills would tighten ID requirements and restrict early voting. Democrats call it voter suppression. Fox 4's Alex Royer has the details. Hi, Natalie. And among them, another bill that would also require that all poll watchers be allowed to observe without being obstructed. Now, Texas House Democrats were quick to condemn most of the governor's plan. As you mentioned, they see this as an attempt at voter suppression. Governor Greg Abbott doubling down on a promise he made during his State of the State address in February to make what he calls election integrity an emergency legislative item. But the fact is, election fraud does occur. State Republicans are sponsoring seven bills related to voter registration and polling access, among them SB 1111, which would require a voter to provide documentation that he or she actually lives at the registered address. We're allowing people to be registered to private P.O. boxes. Now, nobody in this room lives in a two inch by three inch private P.O. box. State Senator Paul County. Bettencourt says in Harris County alone, 5,000 residents are registered to P.O. boxes. Other bills seek to limit who is eligible to receive a mail-in ballot and how Texans can vote. Governor Abbott used drive through polling in the Houston area as an example for the need of uniform statewide voting laws. In Harris County, election officials created drive through voting, which is not authorized by law. Conservative activists tried but failed to have nearly 127,000 drive through votes in Harris County tossed out from the November 2020 election. State Representative Briscoe Kane is the sponsor of House Bill 6. Standardizing uniform elections, that the rules are the rules. That our elections are safe, secure, and free. Texas House Democrats responded with their own news conference Monday afternoon, calling the governor's actions an attempt at voter suppression. Election integrity means allowing all eligible voters to vote, not erecting barriers to that fundamental right. Texas Democrats believe if passed, the laws would hurt non-white voters the most. And we can't even talk about the elections without talking about equity and equality, without acknowledging the disproportionate impact laws like these have on our black and brown communities. Texans House Democrats are going to fight relentlessly to protect all Texans' right to vote. And when asked by reporters at the news conference this morning, Governor Abbott said he did not know if any elections in 2020 were altered as a result of voter fraud. Uh, in response to that, Texas House Democrats again say they accused the governor of fanning, and fanning unfounded conspiracy theories that the presidential election was rigged. Back to you.